Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Diplo here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over every single one of the vendors in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, and basically give you guys a simple rundown, a quick rundown of how uh, each of them are useful, you know, which ones you should, you know, put resources in, uh, so that you can maximize your guns, maximize, you know, your potential when it comes to build builds and stuff like that. And just give you the newer players like a rundown of how, you know, games like this work when it comes to like looter shooters and, you know, how to how to do upgrades, you know what I'm saying? What to put your resources to so that, you know, you guys aren't scared of wasting your resources, you know, trying to wait for like the best stuff to to drop that you, you guys want, you know. Um, and maybe, you know, you'll learn things that you guys probably didn't know uh, watching this video. But yeah, getting straight into it, this is Penguin. Penguin's one of the first vendors. Uh, he's able to craft stuff for you and overhaul stuff for you. Uh, when it comes to crafting, whenever you get a weapon in the world, you'll get a blueprint for it and you'll be able to craft it uh, repeatedly. Um, you know, it'll cost some of these materials. And um, one thing that makes crafting useful is basically, uh, let's just say, for example, I one of these dropped in the world for me, right? And I wanted to use this weapon because it's good or whatever, or it has a good trade or whatever. Uh, one thing I would do is check the weapon to see how many augments are on that weapon. So for example, um, as you can see right here, I have two of those snipers. So as you can see, like this one right here, it has two augments. These are augments, they're like attributes. And then this one right here it has three. Um, so the way that I got this one, for example, is I crafted it to get three. And then this one right here, um you know i got it from the world and it only had two so i wanted to use this weapon i come to penguin I, I i go to where the weapon is and then i craft it and i try to go for the three augments sometimes it does take a little bit of like time because it is random um but my whole goal when it comes to coming to penguin and crafting stuff is just to get the max amount of whatever i can and then when it comes to overhauling overhauling is pretty it's all it's uh from from my understanding it's kind of useless uh it's only good for like let's just say i were to craft let's just say i crafted this weapon and it had terrible stats um usually it'll be cheaper than this the only reason why it's expensive like this is because i have modified it but like let's just say i go to like another weapon like an smg for example as you can see it's pretty cheap to overhaul and let's just say i didn't like any of these stats i would rather overhaul first before moving on to the next station because um maybe i'm looking for like to get lucky on one of these areas um or another reason why you would want to overhaul specifically with legendary weapons is because uh when it comes to attachments from what i've learned so far or seen uh, there is no other way to get maximum attachments unless you overhaul or you craft a weapon um and you kind of have to get really lucky so like for example this one right here i have max attachments which is 15. uh i have seven only right now because you have to level up the weapon in order to keep on gaining um more of these nanos but this means that the weapon can go all the way up to seven or 15 which is the max so i can maximize the attachments on this weapon increasing the damage even further for this weapon specifically and then as you can see right here this one's at 14 this one's at 13 um but yeah that's basically the goal of overhauling but that's only if you are using legendary weapons you know um because i i from what i understand when it comes to like these type of weapons i haven't gotten infamy weapons i don't think but from the with the notorious weapons you can't uh you know change the attachments and stuff like that so with the notorious weapons basically it's just trying to get something that either gives you a lot of damage or gives you three augments you know what i'm saying um, and that's what penguins basically for. So once you have the weapon, you know, that you want and uh, and you have, you know, a little bit of good rolls, but you're trying to get like the absolute best rolls, you're going to want to come here to Toyman. Toyman is the second one of the one of the vendors, you know what I'm saying? He basically mod modifies your guns uh, specifically with the augments. And what I mean by that is basically, as you can see right here, like I said, I've been doing some modifying to this specific weapon. Because right now I'm running like a burn build. Um, so a lot of my stuff uh, has burn on it. And uh, as you can see, even this like specific weapon, it burns nearby enemies after I hit them, th hit three different enemies uh, within nine seconds. And my goal with this is to try to get as much damage, obviously, as possible. Um, so one thing that's cool with Toyman is that you can modify specific 
uh, these specific, you know, things. And as you can see right here, if you press R2 on, you know, controller or whatever, or where, whatever it says right here, possible augments, you can actually see what augments it can change for. And it shows you the percentage of what the max you can get is and what the minimum. Obviously, you always want to get the max. So, for example, when it comes to the green one, I, I want critical hit chance. That's what I'm aiming for. Right now, I'm at 7%. So if I want it to get it to 10%, I have two ways of doing it. One way is the more cheaper way, which is just by holding X and modifying it. It will give me a random, it will give me three random options from any of these six um, possible arguments. Also, each one of those will randomly roll a percentage. So obviously this is the more cheapest way. You can kind of get lucky. Uh, if you're specifically looking for this one, you know, um, but it's, it's not the best way. The best way to uh, argument or upgrade your arguments is by pressing triangle. Once you unlock tote, uh, you do this by just continuously progressing toy men uh, through this, you know, through his missions or whatever. But if you press triangle and activate a tote, you can select a new augment to specifically upgrade and uh and obviously this is really good so let's just say for example you see i i'm at 23 percent critical hit damage for this firearm but that is not the max so let's just say i wanted to get the absolute max for that specific stat especially since it is a pretty good stat um then i can click right here and you know upgrade it and then it will give me three rolls of that same stat so this specific stat will give me three rolls and i have three chances to get the 25 percent, which is the max instead of only one chance and even even then when you do modify it there's still that chance that it might hit like let's just say for example i modified this one and i only just pressed x right there's still that chance that it will only give me three of like these and it wouldn't even give me this so that's why it's not that good so this one is more for specific you know uh augmentations like if you're trying to go for something specific then definitely activating a tote is extremely good um i haven't gotten far to where like um like i've activated totes multiple times on the same weapon but from what i've seen so far um like once you activate a tote once then the price for the next one increases so i'm pretty sure that's probably going to be a trend so that's where it's like you know that's where the grind comes in where you're going to want to continuously keep on farming for materials and then trying to max out the weapon completely to its max potential you know what i'm saying so that's basically what toyman does he is very good you're obviously going to be using him for a long time for end game and stuff like that especially if you're trying to get max you know stats on you know your best weapons or whatever and then the last vendor is poison iv she applies afflictions to your guns um, afflictions are really good uh she applies afflictions to your melee weapons and grenades um they're really good for um for multiple reasons of course obviously because it provides even more damage to you know the enemies that you're you know fighting against but um when it comes to builds so for example like as you can see right here this is the build that i'm running right now uh, i'm running like i said i'm trying to do a burn build mainly because i actually got this that right here that does 49 percent damage to burning enemies on my uh, lucky charm so since that since I got this stat, I just decided to just go with burning. So I put burning affliction on my my boomerang by using poison IV, and then I put burning on my grenade by using poison IV. So it's really good to use poison IV whenever it comes to like you know if you're trying to go for a specific build, like if you're trying to go for more freeze, more electric, or more um or more uh you know venom frenzy frenzy. Maybe you have a gun that like does does more damage to crazed enemies or whatever you know for example then you would want to change it here and it's kind of inexpensive from what i've seen so far so yeah and then and then another thing that's good about poison ivy um when you get her to max you can supercharge and supercharging basically increases the duration of the affliction that you currently have on that weapon um and yeah that's pretty much the basics of how um in depth you know it can get when it comes to the vendors and you know uh maxing out your weapons and making builds and stuff like that i haven't gotten too far into the end game i barely got to the end game but this is what i've learned so far um you know i've wasted a lot of resources you know just to figure out some of these things 
Uh, but yeah, that's basically how it's going to work when it comes to, you know, finding good weapons, trying to, trying to max them out. Uh, if you're trying to go for specific builds, you know, uh, you're going to obviously need a lot of material because I'm already running out of material and I barely, you know, I, I felt like I had a lot because of how much you would get from the campaign. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a grind, which is why this game is really cool, especially if you're into these type of games. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the game like I am. And I hope this video helped you out. Uh, peace.